Monday. Well, still working on my fifth cup of coffee. <laughs> it's not true. It's second. Maybe fifth. I got a little late last night. We, um, uh, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know me, I hate getting scared. <laughs> I hate scary stuff. I hate scary movies. And uh, just don't enjoy the whole process of uh, of horror or scary things or haunted houses. But my family does. And uh, so my 15-year-old Max was off uh, last night. And my wife uh, decided, they decided amongst themselves that we were going to go to a haunted trail. Uh, <clears throat> wow. Okay. <laughs> I... I don't go to haunted houses for a reason because I get scared and, and, and I haven't been to a haunted house or uh, anything of the sort in probably 30 years for good reason. I don't like them, but I sucked it up and went and I was it, it, there. It was frightening. Honestly, it was so frightening. It was like you, it was this haunted trail that went through the woods and, um, and you were all, there were like eight, eight of you in a group and you're all holding onto this rope. And I was the very last person on the rope. Uh, some, some teenage girls were in the front and then, uh, my family was kind of in the middle and then I was at the very end, which is the scariest place to be. <laughs> you would think it'd be the fur the beginning, but it is far, it is by far the end. And I'll tell you why, as we came up to a dollhouse, a haunted dollhouse as part of this trail, um, you walk in and there's just all these girls with with uh, obviously scary looking masks and stuff looking like uh, mutilated dolls. And then it gets narrower and narrower and goes into this like round culvert. And this culvert keeps shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. As you're walking through, you're like, oh my God, I know someone's behind me. I know someone's following me. And then it's all quiet. It's super dark. And all of a sudden, I could hear the girls, the dolls behind me going, we're behind you. And I'm like, oh, I'm getting goosebumps. Just now. That was the scariest part by far. And there was eight people in front of me and I can't push them out fast enough. So uh, I don't recommend haunted houses. <laughs> it's just, I, I, had to, I had a little hard time falling asleep. But that's not the point. The point is Monday. Uh, all new. Let's get get into what I was about to talk about, and that is, you know, my favorite thing is is Zoom chat. Zoom chat's like the George Costanza of Zoom. Like it's underrated. Like it's not appreciated nearly enough. Like like George Costanza was in Seinfeld. If you're if you're old enough to watch Seinfeld, George Costanza was the hit of the show. He was the 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 whole reason you watched that show secretly. So. How do we how do we chat in Zoom? How do we use a uh, chat in in a context of, hey, I've showed you how to chat with internal people, but how do we chat with external people? What if there you have other Zoom partners or Zoom customers that you would like to chat with? Watch this. You go and add them <laughs> to your chat. It's obviously not obviously, but on, on the top part of your Zoom chat client, I've taken over Amy's account again. Amy Martin is my is my demo account. She's not real. All right. Anyway, contacts. I go to contacts. Now I have a ton of internal contacts, right? I have all these people that I talk to throughout my day, the New York office. I have people in the marketing office. I talk to the marketing department, but what if I want to talk to an external partner, an external vendor, an external customer, go to this thing that says external. And right here, it's going to show you all the external partners you had. And how did I add an external partner or customer? I went to this big, confusing ad button. <laughs> I say that in jest. It's not confusing at all. That's why it's ad. You hit ad, and now you can invite a Zoom contact. You know somebody has Zoom, you just, guess what? You just type their email address right in here. This is my other my other demo account that I have, and I know that, that admin at PK Fabrications is a made-up account that I have that for testing stuff like this, and I can add them. Anyway, I just hit invite and it invites them to a Zoom chat. I've already accepted the invite. Boom. And here it is. Look at this. Now I can then chat with this uh, individual. This is the admin of my account, of my test account. So I can uh, obviously chat with him. I can meet. I could actually do a Zoom meeting with him. I can SMS him because I have Zoom phone. Or I can straight out call the admin on this, my, my external 
uh, uh, user. I, I can see all of his uh, pertinent information that he shared with me. I even have his direct number and his email address and his status and everything. The reason I can tell it's external is because of, guess what? One, it's in the external part of my contacts, but also says external on his um, um, avatar. If I were to go to chat, now I can see right here. I can now test with my um, Amy and, and mod admin can test back and forth and, and chat and meet all they want. Externally, this person is not part of my, my Zoom account. This is person is an external, has its own, has own Zoom account. But the nice thing is I can now do all the same functions with internal people that I can with external people. Zoom chat is a super, super powerful collaboration tool.